Hello, can you hear me? Oh, oh Michael K. Oh my god, is that Gooba? Is that the Gooba? Grandma found her way back, oh my god. Grandma, is that you? Mike, good. Noises, okie dokie. Can you believe it? It's, it's me! <laughs> Someone left a trail of granola and eventually I found my way back. Because I just, I cannot, I can't resist. I love granola. Mmm, granny's granola. Anyway, hi. It's been 84 years. Did you know I had no idea where that meme came from? That's from the movie Titanic, right? I see, I still don't know. That's, that's, that's bad. I've never seen that movie. Anyway. Uh, mmm, granola. Meow, 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 meow. Let's do this. Ready? I'm gonna rip, I'm gonna rip it off like a, like a wax strip. It's good to hear you again. It's good to see you again. Ready, say no. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's so rude of me to point. How dare I? Anyway, we're gonna need this later. Hi! There she is. Hello, here I am. I'm still blue as ever. Still blue, still stinky. Not much has changed. I just sound a bit snuffy today, that's all. Snuffy, snuffy. She is real! My fish girl, she does exist! My fish girl! I thought mom and dad flushed you down the toilet, girl. I haven't seen my fish girl in, in how many days has it been? Oh my god. That's right, because this fish, this fish, this, I swam back up the pipes. You can't flush me. Unless there's granola. OMG, my fishy girl! Hi! Welcome to the freaking stream! Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. The Gargura is real. For now, the Gargura... <laughs> For now, that sounds bad. Hi! Hello, hello. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. Uh... Uh... Okay, hold on, wait. Mike is good, everything is good, everything, everybody... The, the stinky is real, everything is back in place. I, stinky fish is here, you, stinky you is here. Everything is good, everything smells the way it has been. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you everybody, hello. Oh, okay, okay, you're not gonna believe this, sorry. Um... So... <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Wait, I have it written down in case I forgot it. I like how I pretended this is a bit, but it's really not. Uh, dun dun dun, Gura, the government is calling. The government? The government? Who is the government? The city of Sendai, Japan! <laughs> dun dun dun! Hello, shark girl! Ah! Hello! Yes, that's me, hello! Holy, okay. So I'm gonna try not to make a complete fool of myself on today's stream. I wanna chat with you guys a little bit, but also... Sendai. We're gonna talk a little bit about Sendai Japan. <laughs> a collaboration with Miyagagura and Sendai City in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. The entire... The entire city has entrusted me... <laughs> Foolishly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, entrusted me. With today's... With today's event. Hold on one second. You guys are crashing my YouTube. Gura's alive! That's right, because Granola brought the shark back. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Sendai! <laughs> yes, thank you, Sendai! Uh, okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna... Uh, the city... The, actual, the city of Sendai has given me a, a few points that uh, they want me to talk about, but uh, silly of them, they also included food, which I'm pretty sure I like super fixated on and kind of went a bit too deep on, so I'm going to talk about food a lot. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, granola. Shark burger. Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, but then also at the end of the stream, there's a very big announcement. Uh, which is totally unexpected, right? <clears throat> right, totally unexpected. Also, the city of Sendai has issued us foreigners a quiz, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be watching, so we have to put our brains together and make a very good impression, because, uh... Let's, let's just, let's make a good impression. Let's show, let's, let's show how big our brains are, how, how smart we are, how interested we are in, 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 in Sendai. Speaking of, do you guys know where that is? If I handed you a map right now, could you point out Sendai on a map? Oh, you guys are going, uh, 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 let me, let me pull up Japan. <laughs> Yes, very good! <laughs> well, luckily for you, I've gone ahead and I've made a Where is Sendai? You ready for this? <laughs> yes, Japan! Technically, you are correct, yes. Yes, north of Tokyo is also correct. Yes, here it is on a map. Ready? Where is Sendai? It's right there. Right there, that's, that's Sendai. And then in, in the box is, um... Is, uh, Miyagi Prefecture, yes. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. Wait, where's my... Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh god, where is it? Okay, I found it. Don't worry, nobody panic. There it is! My throat is very dry today. That's the problem with winter. It gets so freaking dry. <laughs> I was looking at the weather of Sendai, and Sendai also is... What do, what do they call it? Sub... Is it a sub... It's a humid climate, Sendai City is. Just thought you should know that. Anyway, that's where Sendai is. But up, up, but up. Points that picture. And now I'm gonna point at you. Did you get it right? Did you get it right? Did you? Did you? <laughs> when I hear Sendai though, my brain, like, I was studying Sendai a bit. And I keep hearing Sentai, like Super Sentai, or Senpai, or just those two. No bully! Well, baby, it's just getting started, my darlings. <gasps> okay. So you couldn't place it on a map, that's fine. Are there any animes that are from Sendai? Animes that take place in Sendai? I was looking it up, and I guess there's a bunch of different characters from different animes that are, uh... From Sendai. I forgot which one was. Uh, the volleyball one has characters from the Sendai City. A wake up girls! Yeah, Haikyuu! Haikyuu is the one with character. Or is it actually in? I'm kind of anime illiterate, so please forgive me. Haikyuu! Wake up girls! BGM is loud, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It is loud in my ears too. Jujutsu Kaisen! That's another one that I saw! Hi, cute! Jujutsu Kaisen! Meow, meow, meow. Jojo Part 4. Jojo. But you're an anime girl, how do you not know about anime? I know about my own anime, but that's about it. My own anime is tiring. I don't know what arc I'm in in my anime, but man. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. But a ba ba Did you know that Sendai City is the central city of the Tohoku region with a population of over one million people? One million people in the city of Sendai. And for comparison, I think uh, New York City is 8.4 million. I don't know. I was trying to measure it in bananas because I figured that was something that was like a middle ground we could both understand. One pavilion. Did you know that? The city of... The city of Sendai. Sendai City. Have you seen Sendai Castle? I have pictures of Sendai Castle. This might look familiar to you. Sendai Castle looks like this. Where is Sendai Castle? Right there. Maybe. Is that it? This is a cherry blossom. But this looks familiar, does it not? Maybe you've seen this before? You use the banana system? Yes, I do, Ernie. And you don't? 
Did you know that when I... I think I mentioned this before. When I auditioned for Hololive originally, uh, I used washing a washing machine as a unit of measurement. Yeah, so really anything is possible. Just believe in yourself. Bananas are not that, uh, you know... They're not that crazy. <laughs> She's a washing machine. Or an alligator. This is your background? This is pretty. I've seen this I've seen this picture before. Not this picture, but I've seen this uh this building before. This castle. Sendai Castle flourished as a castle town after the Sengoku period military commander Date Masamune built Sendai Castle by himself with his own two hands. Is if this is him, I believe the horse helped. Maybe. Put those hooves to good work. Wow. Could you build a castle with your own two hands? You guys are like, uh, um, actually, yes. You see, I watch videos of people making log cabins in the woods, and, and I could do that. Therefore, the skills will transfer over when I make my very own castle and start my very own, uh, castle government. Yes. <laughs> yes, in Minecraft. In Minecraft, we can all build whatever we want. Like beans. The bean pack. Yeah. Wait, didn't there's another video game that had a, a bean pack? It's your birthday! Happy birthday, Balwick! Happy birthday to you! Like it landed. Oh. Ow. Like Atlantis. It's alright, the lost city of Atlantis never wanted to be found anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Imagine how disappointed you would be if you actually found it. Then what? Where's the chase? The chase is gone. Don't you like the chase? You like the mystery? Yeah, you do. I know you do. I know you like the mystery. Oh, where's the Atlantis? Oh! <laughs> Once lost, always lost. She doesn't want to be found, alright? You miss my voice? Hello? <laughs> Yippee! Ow, my eye. Oh, 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 oh. Bup, 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 bup. oh, there was a... Sorry, I got excited. Uh, this is a train. Do you like trains? This is not just any train. This is a... Can you guess what this is? And did you also know that Sendai City has one? Maybe they have two. I don't know how many they have in their, in their fleet. <laughs> Very good, Gura. It's not just the Sendai train. What is it? The Shinkansen. Yeah. Okay, half point to those of you that said bullet train. Because technically I think that's correct. But I was looking for the Shinkansen. Sendai Station. Tokyo to Sendai, 90 minutes. I don't know if it's on this bad boy, but I would assume possibly. I don't know. 90 minutes, that's a long time. I don't think Tokyo is that far away. Oh, I just read that again. Yes, it is. Holy moly. Tokyo to Sendai in 90 minutes or the pizza's free on this bad boy. Looking like a, a 90s soft drink cup. I love it. I've taken the Shinkansen before. And I got Ekiben. Ekiben is a train bento. You eat food on the train. But I get kind of nervous because Ekiben is usually meats or... Meats, rice, pork, beef. I don't know. There might be fish, like salmon maybe. But it's like things that I would think would be smelly. Like when I'm on a train, I go, Oh god, I can only eat goldfish. Goldfish and pretzel sticks because otherwise I'm going to stink it up and the person next to me is going to get mad. Like one time, one time I took a tuna onigiri on a train and I ate it and then I realized, Oh, this smells like tuna. Wow. And I felt very bad for the people next to me. Eki bang. Eki Ben on the Shinkansen! Uh, they don't mess around. With train bentos, there's like entire storefronts that are dedicated to just little bentos for the train. And they sell out really quick! Train! Oh. Booping. He's so cute! Wiki-ki, wiki 
Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. He's cute to me, alright? Yeah. Egg salad on a train. Don't be that guy. Just kidding. I'm gonna be that guy. Everybody duck and cover. I brought egg salad. Look out. Yummy. Actually, one time I had egg salad and it gave me a really bad bellyache and I haven't had it ever since. Yeah. Makes me kind of sad. I didn't... I haven't tried it when I'm in, uh... When I'm in Japan, I actually haven't tried egg salad. Even everybody's like, Oh my god! Everything Ame was like, Oh my god, you have to try the... The, the egg salad sandal! Oh my god! Like, yeah, I'm scared of eggs! In salad form. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I want to talk about food now. Speaking of... Food is my favorite subject ever. Did you know that? Did you know... And thankfully, Japan, the land of food, Sendai, has got the eats. <laughs> Sendai is famous for its sushi and seafood. I feel like a lot of places in Japan are famous for this. But Sendai, Sendai is, uh, Sendai is up there. With their sushi and their seafood. Such as Hoya and oysters. Hoya. Have you heard of a Hoya? Everybody's like... Hotate! I know what a hotate is, but do you know what a hoya is? I actually had to Google this. Uh, oh, first I'll show you this delicious photo of Sendai Sushi. That's tuna. That's ebi, ikura, chake, maguro, cucumber. There's no hoya here! You might be like, what is Hoya? I'm gonna show you. We're gonna take a trip about... We're gonna take a trip about... We're gonna take a trip to Hoya land. I thought it was a vegetable, but Hoya is a seafood. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't have enough dedicated wham. My dedicated wham is running out. My PCs. My PCs is no more. I need my dedicated wham. Okay, this is a Hoya. I... I'm not kidding. This is a Hoya! A Hoya is also known as a sea pineapple. And some places online also call it a sea squirt. Or a sea squirter. That's an alien. I know! It looks like something that Samus would be running after. Hoya. Sea pineapple. It kind of is a little bit like... Maybe a sea cucumber? Possibly? You thought it was a sea urchin? No, this is its own special thing. I did my own research, so pardon me if this is incorrect, but... Mahoya? Is a Hoya covered in bumps? And it's yellowy and orange? And then the Akahoya... Is the smooth big brother with no bumps and pleasant red flesh. Doesn't that sound... Delightful? Hoya. I also had to look up how Hoya is prepared because th there's hair. It's hairy and bumpy, and it's got these like spiky ball thingies at the top. So I watched a video of somebody preparing it because I had to believe. How do you eat this little alien creature? So first you cut off this spiny part here. In the video, they cut the spiny part off, and then they squeezed the juice out of the inside. They put it in three separate cups, and I'm not really sure why, but... Squeeze the internal juice out. And then... Oh god. You pull this outer layer off. Like, uh... Like you unbutton his shirt, and you pull it off. You rip it right off, like you're skinning it. RIP! And then you slice up the belly. Remove the insides, or the roll, the eggs, or whatever is on the inside, the guts, the brown... It was brown in the video, it was brown and green. You give it a quick rinse, and then you're good to go. And then they cut them up, and they put them on a plate like sashimi. Yeah. I feel like that sounds a lot worse than it is, like... What? I mean, when you, like, cut up a tuna, you... You cut the head off, and you... You the scales, and then you cut up the belly, you take the insides out. But I don't know, because this doesn't look edible. Boy, 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 boy. As most meat, too. I know, right? Maybe just because this one looks so weird. 
And I love the how you can eat this, because I figured there's no way... There's no way you just eat it. But you can have it steamed, grilled, marinated, sashimi style, so like straight up raw. Or you can pickle it. Yummy. And... They call this thing a delicacy. Hoya is a delicacy, because apparently... It, it lights up your all, all your taste bud senses. The sweet, the sour, the salty, the spicy, the umami. Which honestly just sounds extremely overwhelming for a food. I like salty. Hmm. Salty. But... It does everything. It's promising too much. To the point where I'm... I'm suspicious of this Hoya. Boy, 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 boy! A food that promises to tickle all of your taste buds? Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know. Salty, umami, sweet, sour, spicy, all five. I think that was five. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but yeah. I wanna keep him on the screen, he's kinda cute! I'm kinda grown accustomed to it. Can I put it here? You guys see what the whole yeah? What do you think it smells like? It's kind of like a sea cucumber when you squeeze it and it goes pew pew. <laughs> but Guru, I'm traveling through Sendai and I don't like seafood. Okay, weirdo. Well, luckily for you, Sendai is also famous for beef. Boo. Not just any beef. Beef tongue! Wait, hold on, what is this? Skip. Ads skip. Bada boom. Beef tongue! Beef baby! Sendai is famous for beef! The birthplace of grilled beef tongue. Mm hmm. This is not a chicken nugget, this is tongue. Uh, did you know that Sendai whipped out the world's first documented restaurant specializing in beef tongue in 1948? I had to do a, like a double triple check because they told me they said yeah Sendai Sendai put beef tongue on the map. I said no, -uh, no way. Actually, like very first, and apparently, apparently so. So I'm going to say okay. I don't know. Don't come for me. I don't know. I've had beef tongue. It's good. What's the matter? Shark got your tongue? <laughs> What's it taste like? It's beefy. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I miss... Oh, I miss... Oh. Tongue is great. Tongue is good. You tongue. Yum, yum. Good <laughs> 10 out of 10 review. Beef is good. I like beef. But, but, Gura, I'm traveling through Sendai and I don't even like beef. I don't like beef and I don't like seafood. Okay. Someone's being a bit tricky. Well then, do I have the item for you, baby? Don't worry, you won't go hungry. <laughs> I give you... Da 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 da! Zunda mochi! Listen, if you're gonna sit there and snub the seafood and the beef tongue, this is all you get. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> this is Zunda mochi! He looks like a little fuzzy green Martian creature, doesn't he? There's mochi underneath this. This is a soybean. Cool! Green! Why is it green? Um, uh, uh, uh ho hold on. Uh, Zunda mochi is a famous sweet in Japan made of glutinous rice and sweetened ground edamame, or soybean, aka the green stuff. Is that mushy peas? No. It's not wasabi either! It's edamame! Soybean. <laughs> it looks like guac. It could be guac. I would eat it if it was guacamole. Guac. Why did I say it like that? Guac. Booger? No. Soybean. Edamame. Spicy? I doubt it. 
Did you know you can also get Zunda Taiyaki, which are the fish pancake thingies? They put... <laughs> they put... Edamame inside of the Taiyaki. And I feel like it tastes really good with butter. But yeah, I think it's a... It's a mochi rice cake, which is just... Glutinous rice. And then they put... They put... The Zunda... On top. I'm thinking. Is that... Is that Nick... Is that Nickelodeon gag? No. Is that peas? No. Yeah, they crush it with sugar, so it's like sweet soy. Maybe a bit reminiscent of like soy milk. Yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe texture-wise, if you are a little sensitive to textures, it might be a little bit weird, but otherwise. Otherwise, uh I think it'd be alright. I just wanna make a note that they also told me. And they said, oh, girl, also... Shakes. I said, what? They said, yeah. Shakes. I said, Sendai City, what do you mean? What? I don't know if that means they make milkshakes. They might have Zunda milkshakes. Or... If you shake, you'll get Zunda? I'm not really... I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. Shakes. All right, send <laughs> Yeah. All right. It's time to make a good impression. We're gonna take a quiz. Are you ready? Sendai, Sendai quiz. I'll join you guys, and I totally won't read the answers. Uh, we're gonna take this quiz together, and it'll be totally fair. And I won't rely on you for the answers. We're gonna rely on each other. Yeah! <gasps> Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> okay! Question number one! Huh. Uh... A typical Miyagi festival held in August every year where bamboo decorations such as kusudama and streamers undulate gorgeously and powerfully. The Sendai Tanabata festival will be held. But what will be held on the eve? Is it one, a sushi eating contest? Two, a fireworks display? Three, a dance contest, the bone dance, or four, a costume contest. <laughs> undulate. After we finish undulating, on the eve of undulation, what activity do we partake in? One, two... I'm seeing a lot of two. Fireworks display? Fireworks display? First we fireworks and then we undulate. The answer is... Yeah, you're right. The correct answer is two fireworks festival. Yeah, Hanabi! Wow, smart. We didn't even have to undulate. What does that mean? I should probably look that up before I stop keep saying it. Undulate. Can somebody undulate? Can, so <laughs> Can somebody divine undulate? Swaying and undulating. The, the streamer... Wiggle, it just means that you're moving. Ah! Streamers move gorgeously, powerfully. I like that. Thank you, Sendai City, for teaching us a word that we didn't know. Or I didn't know. Slow up and down motion. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sendai Tanabata Festival is counted as one of the three major festivals in Tohoku. It will be held for three days from August 6th to 8th, with the E fireworks display taking place on August 5th. Show ref. Oh. <laughs> Hanabi! Pew, 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 pew. Question number two! Yeah, in August. Oh, okay, you guys are gonna know this. Question number two Sea Squirt. 
is famous as a sea delicacy, uh, delicacy representing Miyagi Prefecture. It is also called... Of the sea. But what is the... Is it... The apple of the sea? The strawberry of the sea? The orange of the sea? Or the pineapple of the sea? This little guy. He goes. Pineapple! It is! Pineapple. Yes. A little sea squirt. He squirts from here, I think. Not down here. You would think it'd be down here, but it's up here. Yeah. It's little squirty holes. <laughs> the name comes from the fact that it is shaped like a pineapple. It doesn't taste like pineapple, but it tastes sweet. Sour and salty. Ah! It's a rare ingredient that has all five tastes. Bitterness and umami. The season is summer, but there are many processed products. So be sure to buy some as a souvenir. Mommy, Dad! I just came back from Sendai. And I brought you this! It's a little creature! We're gonna slice him up and eat him as sashimi. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Little squirty man! Yippee! Fuzzy! He's like an armpit. Do armpits also have all five tastes? Sweet, sour, salty, bitterness, umami. Oh, 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 oh. Question number three! In Japan, Oysters are called the blank of the sea. Oysters in Japan are called the blank of the sea. Is it the milk of the sea? The coffee of the sea? The tea of the sea? Or the cola of the sea? I love these questions. Oysters are the... Someone said the booger of the sea, and I have to... I... I... Oysters are very... Yes. They're very mucusy. But actually, yes, the correct answer is, is milk. In Japan, oysters are called the milk of the sea. Milk! There's a reason why. Uh... <laughs> oysters contain more protein, magnesium, iron, zinc, vitamin B12, folic acid, etc. than milk. That's why you should be eating oysters with your granola and not milk. Trust me, I would know. Mm. For this reason, it became... Sea milk. Oysters. God. That sounds so... Bleh. Oh, but also, by the way, milk has more calcium. So, if you were looking for calcium, stick with your milk. But if you want all the other benefits, then you should definitely be eating your Frosted Flakes with oysters. Maybe a splash of milk so you get that balance of calcium and your bones don't bend up like a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah! Miyagi Prefecture ranks second in the nation in oyster production. Miyagi oysters have a firm texture. Rich in flavor and delicious. So perhaps Miyagi oysters don't have booger texture. They have firm, savory, delicious texture. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Sea milk. <laughs> Question number four! What do cows raised as Sendai beef eat? What is the special... What do the cows eat? Sendai cows. What do they eat? Do they eat rice, straw, corn, pasture grass, or wheat? Special cows deserve special food. But do they eat rice straw, corn, pasture grass, or wheat? This is a tricky one. This is tricky. They eat the tourists. No, the cows do not eat the tourists. Sendai beef cows are very friendly. They're very friendly. They would never eat their tourists, ever. No, no, no. Especially if you speak cow. 
If you mew at them, they'll move back. <laughs> Sendai cows eat rice straw. I, they must just, they must, I don't know, mind control? Don't eat the grass, moo. And then they just don't eat the grass, right? I would assume. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But no, they, they, they eat rice straw. Miyagi is one of the nation's leading rice producers. Sendai beef comes from cows such as... Sasa Nishiki and Hitomebore. A famous rice brand in Miyagi that are raised in the clear water. Wait, so Sasa Nishiki and Hitomebore are... Is that rice brands or those are types of cows? They have a delicious, luxurious diet of rice straw. Nishiki? Hitomebore oishi is both. Rini Hongo is getting better, girl. Arigato! A delicious, luxurious diet of rice straws. Question number five. Zunda mochi, a specialty of Miyagi Prefecture where Sendai City is located, is green. But... but why? What makes it green? Is it spinach? Is it broccoli? Is it... edamame? Or is it lettuce? If you say boogers one more time... The government is watching. If you say booger one more time... It's not me. It's not me. I would never... I would never encourage such behavior. Bunch of... Bunch of booger eaters. Zunamochi! The green stuff. What is it? Is it spinach? Is it broccoli? Is it edamame? Is it lettuce? <laughs> It is, it's edamame, yeah. Edamame. Although I can see it being confused with like spinach or broccoli. Sweet broccoli. Yum. Sweet spinach. Fauna saplings, oh no! <laughs> the ground up saplings, I didn't have a chance! No chance. I like how the Hoya is just hanging out there. What, what, what's he doing? I'm balancing. Uh, yes. Zuna mochi. A mochi made with ground edamame filling. First you boil the edamame, peel it, crush it, mix it with sugar and salt. Yum, 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 yum. Is that a clown nose? It's a Hoya! I don't know what that is, girl. I just got here. Oh, you missed the entire thing about Hoya. Is your mic okay? You hear a noise. That's just my stinky water heater going bleep. Bleep. Everything else is uh, it's fine. It's just the water heater. Don't mind. Don't mind. Pay attention to Hoya. Okay, question number six. Wakame seaweed is one of the most popular foods in Japan. Approximately how large does it grow? Wakame seaweed. This is measurement in feet. Is it one foot? Uh, three... F what? One feet? Three feet? Ten feet? Or fifty feet? Did I say watame? I meant wakame! <laughs> I thought I thought you said watame. I might have said watame. I was watching watame's videos before. <laughs> Ah, yes. Wakame seaweed. Wakame! Wakame seaweed. Why is it not measured in bananas? You know, it should be measured in Hoya. That's what it should be. What do we say? 10 feet? Average wakame grows to be 10 feet long. Wakame. The answer is... 
10 feet. Wow, yeah, about 3 meters. Wakame is produced through aquaculture, and Miyagi Prefecture boasts the second largest production volume in Japan. Aquaculture. It starts at about 1 foot long and eventually grows to about 10 feet. Wakame seaweed is brown when harvested but turns green when boiled. Boiling removes the odor and the bitterness, making it easier to eat. Yes. That's a lot of feet. Sure is. Three metric feet. That's a lot of feet. Three metric tons of feet. Somebody... I saw somebody said, why do you guys use feet? Why is that a measurement? And I don't know. I also was trying to figure out the difference between square meters and meters. And I couldn't do it. I think that's why we should stick to, like, reasonable things. Like earlier, I said washing machines and alligators because I can actually visualize that, whereas I can't visualize a, a, a meter, a square. Anyway, question number seven! This is our last question. Sendai Uminomori Aquarium is one of the largest aquariums in Tohoku. Showcasing the charms of Tohoku's oceans, the stadium can accommodate 1,000 people. And you can watch creatures perform up close. What are those creatures? A sea lion, a bird, and one more. Is it killer whales? Sea otters? Dolphins? Or Gargura? Who's at the aquarium? That's where I've been. I've been... I've been stuck at the aquarium. Let me out. Umi no more, let me out. <laughs> the answer is... It's a dolphin! You guys, you guys, you got... You got Betty, I don't know... Dynamic performances of dolphins, sea lions, and birds. What a combination. No way. Way. Way, way, way. I mean... I think... I think we did pretty well on the quiz, and by we, I mean you. You are now professionals. You... You... I... I totally have the power now to say yes, you are all... Um... Um... Top tier, uh, you know everything about Sendai, yes? You passed. You passed! You're a professional, you know everything about Sendai now! You can be a professional tour guide! Hooray! <laughs> but if you ever try Zunimochi, send me a picture and draw little googly eyes on it, I wanna see. I doodled googly eyes on it. It made it look a lot less, um, daunting? I don't know. I'd still eat it. Can I get a diploma? Hear... Hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> Mina-san! Professional Sendai. Very nice, very nice. The Zunda Shake. Yeah, whatever a Zunda Shake is. What is that? Oh my god, what is that? It looks like a fuzzy pebble. It does, like a little mossy rock or something. Are you ready for the announcement? I think I've... I think I've, uh... Held it above you for a while. Where should we put him? I don't know. We're gonna put him away and say bye-bye to the Hoya. Bye-bye, Hoya. <laughs> announcement time! da 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 Now I'm sweating. <laughs> now this is serious. <laughs> oh god, okay. Don't panic! Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> uh, on behalf of the city of Sendai! I, Gargura, am collaborating with... Sendai Umino Mori Aquarium! Wow, wow, look. Yay! What is this? It's 
It's Guerrarium! I've taken over the aquarium in Sendai and I've turned it into the Gurarium. That's the official title. That's what it's called. Gurarium, literally, actually. Gurarium in Sendai Umino. Mori, aquarium. Ah, that's right. It's me. That's me. We got a key visual. Let me see. Let me see. There we, there we are. Key visual. Aren't they cute? Gurarium! Touch a shark! Yay! Pet the shark! The touch tank is real! I actually don't know if there is a touch tank. The collaboration starts... ...the 20th of January at the Guerrium Sendai's Uminomori Aquarium. <laughs> so, if you're coming to Japan... Uh, ...around this time and you want to go see the, uh, the Gura Aquarium... ...the Guerrarium... Sorry, I can't even get the words right. <laughs> This freaking aquarium! I'm sorry, there's lots of things I have to show you still, and I'm very distracted. Okay, what do we have? We have a, a photo spot at the aquarium. Uh, I'm I'm all over this place, so it's uh yeah. There there's a photo spot. There's 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 a welcome movie. My voice is heard everywhere in the aquarium. There's freaking. Let's see. Let's hide this. Let's say hello to this. I'm everywhere. You will never escape me. I will be the one to welcome you to the aquarium. Minasan, konnichiwa, yokoso, sendai. Welcome to the Gurarium. I am your host, Gargura. That's a shark. That's an isopod. That's a sushi. There's a photo panel. You can take a photo, commemorative photo. Look at me, mom. I went to the, the Gurarium event in, in Sendai. <laughs> You can use my audio guide uh, using there's a QR thing you can scan and then I'll take you all the way through the uh, the aquarium with my totally massive knowledge of all things sea life being a sea creature myself. <laughs> Is this hard to see over my massive? <gasps> I did my best. That's all I could say. I totally got all the information correct. There's an AR digital stamp rally as well to go along uh, with all of these pictures that you see sliding by the. Uh, Right here. These little, these little guras right here. Sushi. What else is there? Sushi! Isopon! My massive forehead. My massive forehead is hidden underneath my massive bangs. Don't worry. Everything is fine. <laughs> ah, let's make this bit smaller. Yay! Hooray! My music will be used in the Dolphin and Sea Lion show! And you'll be able to see an original show during that time. Minasan! I'm in the water! I am currently in the tank! And then I and then I come out and then I jump through the hoops. I go ar 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 and I uh, and then I do a backflip and then you film it and you go oh my god was that Gargura? No wonder she's not streaming. She's she's on the freaking she's in the sea show. And I go ar ar. <laughs> no way. <laughs> also, there is a food collaboration and I'm very excited about it. There's food. Uh, there's curry, there's special drinks, and I got to pick it out myself. <laughs> and it's totally edible. Trust me, trust me. Look at this picture, though. Where is it? Is it this one? Ah! Cute! Nom, 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 nom. Okay, here's the food. Here's the menu. Hear me out. Don't, 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 don't snub your nose. We just went on a food journey, okay? Did I make the curry? I did myself. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, curry topped with shark meat piccata and my personal favorite fried salmon. Shark meat! Completely edible! I promise! Shark is on the menu if you'd like to go in and try my shark meat special. Uh, 
harvested from myself? <laughs> That's where I've been. I've been growing my tail back. I couldn't possibly show up here without a tail. He'd be like, where's your tail? And then I'd have to spoil the surprise. Oh, I had to... It's fully grown back now. Uh, we've been freezing it in small increments to use later as an ingredient in the Sendai Uminori Aquarium collaboration. <laughs> but then, I would be in trouble for spoiling such a surprise. Uh, there's also a drink. There's also a drink. A blue Hawaiian syrup top with mint chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Blue and mint, the best two combos. Great Gura! So yeah, if you guys want to try shark meat... Ooh, ah, ah. Shark meat curry with fried salmon! Yummy! Yeah. yeah. And it's cute! It's cute to cute! Wow, wow, wow! Where do I put this? There's no room! Look, there I am! Alright, let me just get... Uh, ah, there's so much stuff in the way! Ah! Ah ha ha! Gooba meat! So, yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen! Sendai City! I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are too. Uh, this has been a very long time being planned. Uh, and, and I hope those of you that are going to Japan, or perhaps those of you that live in Japan, maybe you live in Sendai, and, you, and you're looking for something fun to do, or you want to travel to Sendai, you're looking for a, a reason. And there's been tons of reasons that I've given you just a few this stream, but also, Go to the aquarium. Book your flights right now. Right now. But Gura, I'm scared and traveling is overwhelming. Don't worry, I I, I understand. That's why uh, HIS has a model route. If you're nervous and you're looking for like uh please plan out the day for me so I don't have to think. There's links in the description if you'd like to see what, uh, they recommend a model di- Model day? A model route, a typical day, a perfect day. Your perfect day in Sendai looks like this. They have it all planned out for you. His is called HIS, man. That's what I was told. HIS. I, I don't know. HIS, baby. There's links in the description if you so feel necessary in need. Necessarily in need. A lot of stuff on the screen, isn't there? Hold on. I can't see! When I close my eyes, I can't see! Here we go. Uh, I don't know how long this is going for. There's just a little squiggly line. So I'm not really sure. But, uh, I'm sure when the date approaches, then they'll have, like, a more structured from this time to this time. But as of right now, I have no idea. Woohoo! Yeah! Boop, boop, boop. Until the world ends. B maybe? Who knows? Who knows, who knows? I'm gonna teach every animal in the aquarium to do a Gargura impression. And then... I'm gonna give them each a mobile device. And they'll be able to stream right into your brains. But they're all gonna sound just like me. Yeah. Even the fish. <laughs> Permanent. Sammy Desu! Yeah, you can use hashtag Rarium. It's, it, starts, uh, it starts a while from now, so... Yeah. Yippee, yippee! Can't wait to be mind controlled by a jellyfish. <gasps> I kind of want to put. You ever like see a jellyfish and you want to put it in your mouth and slush it around a little bit? It's like when you eat those little cup jellos, little jello cups, and you'll mush, 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 mush. Yeah. What kind of toothpaste do you use? That's an excellent question, actually. Uh, I swapped to kids' toothpaste because regular toothpaste 
makes me nauseous and was actually making me reluctant to brush my own teeth, which is uh, not good. So I swapped to the kitty stuff and now I am a happy toothbrusher. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I just... It's not, like, strong mint. It's called, like... Sweet candy mint. Or something stupid. I don't know. Guess what else I did today? I made my own flatbread. I made bread. I've been learning how to bake bread. Yeah. I want to learn how to make sourdough. I want to grow my own sourdough starter. I'm going to name him Junior. And I'm gonna make the best bread, the best crusty bread you've ever seen or smelled or heard. And then, when I master it, I'm gonna grow too attached to the loaves and I'll never be able to eat them. But honestly, flatbreads were really easy. Did you know you can make flatbreads with just two ingredients? Yogurt and self-rising flour? Why? Sourdough is so good. Sourdough is delicious. I like a real crusty bread, you know? A real, a real seedy bread. Rustic. So that you really bite your teeth into it. <laughs> Slaps bread on the table. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. You had me at... Hmm. Give me raw dough. Isn't raw flour really dangerous to eat? I'm gonna Google that. There's raw flour. I feel like it's dangerous. Like, you have to cook out the ickiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get sick if you eat unbaked dough or batter with flour containing germs. Ew. That's why you bake it, because you gotta bake all the ick out of it. It's not dangerous? Luke says it's not dangerous, it's just indigestible. So it's gonna sit in your guts forever, and then it's gonna turn to stone, and then you're gonna turn to stone, and then you're gonna die. That's like... Don't they say that bubblegum also doesn't get digested, even though that doesn't really sound possible? <laughs> Dr. Stone! Hey, guess what movie I watched? Sorry, it's all coming out. Of, it's coming out of me like, 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 like word vomit. Guess what movie I finally watched? Uh, 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 uh. I freaking watched. Uh, wait, maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Oh, into the into the Spider Verse. I feel like I was the only person on the planet that hadn't seen it, and everybody around was like, "It's so good. How have you not? How have you?" I, I wasn't... I really liked it. I wasn't expecting the turns and the twists. They actually got me. I feel like most movies, I see the twists coming. But that one actually got me. I liked it. I liked the animation style. I liked the twists and the turns and the emotion. And I thought the characters were all adorable. I really liked... Who's... Who's the... Spoiler alert. The spider from... From like the... The black and white. The... The noir. He was funny, I like that one. Miles! Miles is cute! Spider Noir! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Nicolas Cage? No freaking way. No way. Yeah, Spider Noir was funny, I actually laughed. The Cage! Let him out of the cage. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What else have I been up to? Hmm. Oh, lots of stuff came out. Shinkiro! Did you guys like Shinkiro? Wabi Sabi Lullaby? Holy moly! Yeah, Marin, Marin and I, we're a Shikiro, and freaking Wabi Sabi, freaking 
Honeyworks? Are you kidding me? It's like one of those moments where you, where you sit in the shower and you stare at the wall and then all of a sudden you're transported back into like yourself from 10 years ago and 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 then all of a sudden it's like oh honey works never in a million years just kidding crazy you sit in the shower no i used to i used to and then i grossed myself out because that's where the feet go and who knows where the feet have been Ew, and then you put your butt on that Ew. I don't sit in the shower! Ew! I learned my lesson! Ew! Just clean your shower. Alright. No, no, no. You're not supposed to give me... You're not supposed... No, when I, when I whine, you're supposed to say... Yeah! Not... Nah. Well, actually, here's how you fix it. No, 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 no! No! Bring a chair in the shower, stupid. Yeah, possibly. Pull up a chair, Einstein. Sorry for swearing. How dare you? How dare you swear on my freaking stream? Have I? I don't know if I. Do I swear normally? Freaking freak! I don't know. Do you know skibbity toilet? No. No! Get your skibbity... Skibbity bibbity out of here! Actually, think about just skibbity toilet. <laughs> I thought... When I first... I first heard of skibbity toilet... I said, oh dear, what is this? This sounds like... This is like kitty stuff, isn't it? So I Google out oh, a skibbity toilet. I'm gonna be ahead of these kids. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. Ah, oh, skibbity toilet. And they actually said it was something from like six months ago. It's actually gotten good. Skibbity toilet. I'm too old for this. I'm too old. You know when you see... You you just see a word. Hey, have you heard of... Have you seen the skibbity bibbity dibbity toilet? And you just know. Oh, no. Oh, I'm... Uh... No compute. It... Uh-uh. No. Uh, no. But I, I will tell you that... Um, putting maple glazed nuts in your granola... Make... It really elevates the flavor to a... I mean... Flaky salt. Have you heard? Have you heard of flaky salt? I'll skibbity that in your toilet. Man. Oh no. That's right, all this time has passed and all this new lingo has popped up on the internet, guys. We haven't we haven't shared our thoughts on all this new internet lingo. The Rizzler. The Riz. Oh god. The Rizzler. The Zoomer lingo. Please, no. It's moving too fast. It's moving too fast. It's, it's very interesting to watch, though, isn't it? Feeling old? <laughs> no. Maybe. Little bit. Tiny bit. Itty bitty tiny bit. Grandma's gonna catch him. The 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 guy got got. Ah. Okay. Back in my day. <laughs> Sorry, my brain feels soft like Play-Doh right now. Yummy, Play-Doh. Yum, 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 yum. What's got? I'm not telling you. 
What you been doing? Uh, other than just working on stuff in Hololive, I've been... I'll be honest with you. I've been a little burnt out, trying to get over that. I've been watching Hololive stuff. Working on Hololive stuff. Working on... Life stuff, I guess? Kind of just everything, you know? Meow. Meow. But thank you guys for welcoming me back again. So sweet. I was thinking about how I was going to address you because I want to show my affection in words without being gross. So I was saying, like, thank you. I, I said it earlier. I said, my darlings, and then my tongue curled because I thought, no, 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 that's too weird. They're going to be like, ew, girl, what were you? Excuse me? And I was like, oh, my... Uh, you guys... <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Oh my god, it's just Thanksgiving! Those of you that just had Turkey Day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Turkey Day! Canadians, it's been a while. Happy past Turkey Day! Happy Autumn. Merry Chris... Uh, Merry... Uh, uh November. How was my Halloween? I... Did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. Not that I can remember, my mind is blank right now. Absolutely blank. When is the next karaoke? Mm. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah! No shayaya, Dora! It's been a while! Well, at least this time around we have more songs to say! We have more originals! Yahoo! Yippee! Oh. Lethal Company! I asked, uh... I actually asked Ame. I said, um... So we should play... We should play Lethal Company. It'd be really funny. But I think with Lethal Company, you're gonna need at least three people. I think it is best with a full party, from what I've seen. It's like... Stupid. It's so stupid. Girl, I wanna see you play the Melon game. There's a lot of games I haven't played. Which is a weird thing. I don't know. I haven't played many games, but I just... I feel like... Meh! I look at my Steam library and all my... Quarter, half-finished games, I... Jeez, I'm such a gamer. Sure is tired. <laughs> sure is tired and buying these games and playing them halfway. Free. Stupid shirt. What did I play off stream? Uh, I think I dabbled in. Dave the Diver a little bit, but I didn't really get far in that game. That's not really anything. I've been trying to do, like... Like... Extracurricular activities, like... Baking, and crafting, and... You know, the other stuff. Away from... Away from, like, tech. Oh my god, I started reading. I started reading. Again, I can read. Don't... Hold on. I've read a handful of books, but that included... I got a little baby pocket edition of The Hobbit, and I've probably read it through a billion times. It's my favorite thing. It is like my most... Pr it has... It has reached my... Uh, most prized possession list very, very quickly. It's, it's like little, little leathery thing. And I'm really excited for the web, the, the leather to wear down. And it's gonna look really cool. And, and I want to like, I wanna, it's like, I want to pass it, pass it to down the lineage, you know? 
until like 200 years from now and they're like, what is, what is the, the Hobbit? Probably doesn't even say Hobbit anymore. But yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Who is reading? Oh no. It hasn't made me any smarter. I don't know who says that. Ah, oh, reading makes you smart. It really widens your vocabulary. And then I'm going... <laughs> Undulated. What's that mean? Check. Undulated. Hasn't made me any smarter. Still stupid. Sitting in the shower while reading. It's okay, I put it in a, a zippy block uh, bag. Don't worry about it. Ooh, zippy nippy block bag. Okay, though. This is... This, this is, a. Uh, I have to keep in mind, this is for the... The, the city of Sendai. Sendai City. <gasps> Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you for entrusting me, Guar Guambul Guambulis Gagura, with and the Chumbuds and the Chumbuds. You're in on this too. Thank you for trusting us with such such an such an honorable uh, event. Thank you. Thank you guys for stopping by and saying hello! Thank you! No penis on us, man! I'm never sharing! Thank you guys! I hope you... I hope this little little hour was a... Uh, a bright in your day. Even if just a little bit. With silly rambling... Bambling dose. Yeah? I'll wait. I'll wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you again. Sendai, the city of Sendai. And Sendai Umino Maria Gloria. Woohoo! Yippee! Behave, everybody! Take your bread, read your books. What else? Don't sit in the shower. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Ah. 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 <coughs> Voice crack. Ew. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Bye b